Hello children. Today we're actually out here looking for sphinx moths, and you might be wondering why I'm at a building. And that's actually because the best spot to look for sphinx moths is at the side of buildings that are near nature. So, sphinx moths fly around during the nighttime, and then during the nighttime, right before the daytime, they'll actually fly onto the sides of walls. And they'll fly into trees, they'll fly into the grass, they'll fly into anywhere they can land. But they're really hard to find there because of their camouflage. But they'll often fly onto walls, and that's where they'll stick out, and that is the best place to look for them. And actually, check this out. There is a beautiful streaked sphinx moth right here. As you can see. Protambulix strigilis. This is actually one of the largest species of sphinx moths that we could find here. And look at just how big it is compared to my hand. Absolutely massive moth. Now the streaked sphinx moth has an unmistakable pattern with a black stripe on each side of the thorax as well as those dead leaf looking patterns on the wings. Now the bottom part is a little bit of like an orangey color. As you can see it's orange on the bottom. So, just a gorgeous species. This is the Mournful Sphinx. Now, I'm not really sure how it got its name, but there's a couple interesting things that could set the species apart from others. One interesting trait of the Mournful Sphinx is the ridge it has near the head that tapers up to a point. Also, like many other Sphinx moths, it has very irregularly shaped forewings. This species is usually active in the very early morning and very late evening, and can be found flying around like a hummingbird hovering in front of flowers and drinking their nectar. Then they spend most of the day dormant. This right here was my lifer Elo Sphinx. I've actually been looking for this species for a very long time, and I know they've been present at this park, so it was very exciting for me to finally find one. Now this individual was rested near the ceiling, all the way at the top of the wall. And while I was getting some okay pictures of it, I actually put my net up there, and it crawled onto my net. So I was able to bring it down for some good shots like this. Now from far away this species might appear almost completely patternless gray. But a closer look actually shows a lot of small intricate black patterning. While rested, this species does not look as exciting as some of the other species of sphinx moths that are in Florida. The overall pattern is pretty dull and the forewings are not irregularly shaped. However, the most interesting patterns on this species can be seen while it is in flight. The abdomen is bright white with very contrasting black spots, and the hind wings on top are a vibrant pink color. You'll be able to see these two traits while I release this Elo Sphinx back into the wild. 